I don't even be drinking Red Bulls. But I'm tired, boss. It's 1 a.m. and it's 147 to be exact. Um and I and I'm and I need that. I need it. It keep me, it's gonna keep me going. So uh I just wanna talk to y'all just a split second before I, you know, we start on the paint process. Um this car has to be in the car show on the 23rd. It is the 20th today. He was supposed to pick it up on the 20th today. It just was not ready. Far from ready. So I pushed it back to the 21st. I'm gonna be real, it's still far from ready. Um, is it impossible to get it finished and sent tomorrow? No, it's not impossible. But I'm only one man and I don't wanna jeopardize quality to make it to the show. And he even said that, like, don't take away the quality. But this is just me putting in, this, this, is, just, this is just me, this is who I am. When you take care of me, I'm gonna take care of you the best of my ability i really want to see this car one is my name on the car and two i he, this is what he wanted as well he really wanted to make it to the show and that's what i'm trying to do so this is just me doing things a little bit different it is like i said 1 a.m fairly cold um as a matter of fact my schedule today in the past few days wasn't like this but i woke up at woke about eight o'clock got here about got to the shop about eight o'clock worked till about six maybe five or six p.m went home slept for maybe two or three hours kicked it with the family and then bounced back up about 12 12 a.m i'm here now um with the amount of work that i have right now i'll probably be here to about if i go all the way yeah see i gotta go all the way through um i'll probably be here to about like nine or ten because i still got to put the car together still got two coats to clear still gotta i still gotta sand it clear down and re-clear it that ain't even the two coats of silver and the two coats of red. That ain't even the dry time, you know what I'm saying? So um, it is it is a lot and I still got some imperfections I gotta take care of. So um, sorry I'm talking y'all ears off, but I just wanna just kinda give you a real quick brief um, description of what's going on. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't even I don't even like working at night, especially cause I haven't been here too, too long, but we got top flight security of the world. Um, we got our security camera. We got another security camera. We got another security camera. Then we got another one on the other side of the building. Then I got my cousins in there watching the monitors. Then I got my guard dog. He will politely take his teeth out and bite your ass if you come around. I mean, his bark is vicious. So it's actually my cousin's dog. So he's right here. He's on. He's he's at work. He's on guard duty, as y'all can see. He's pretty chained up. So if anybody gets to walking around here, it's gonna be a pretty hefty bark. And if you get past him. You gotta get past me. And I don't I don't miss much because I like the range. Um, so yeah, other than that, man, we about to go in here and dive and get to work. Uh let me just kind of give y'all a visual on what we got going on. All right, man, let's recap. You know what it is. Time to seal it. <laughs> it ain't time to paint. I'm not gonna uh, record the sealing process. The sealer is almost like primer, it's the same boring step. Um, we're just gonna seal it. That will uh fix the imperfections of the primer then uh i really i'm gonna be real, a thousand percent real i don't even want to record at all i'm just just because it's it, it's so hard trying to record knowing you on a time time frame uh dealing with the camera and stuff like that but i told him i would document it so therefore i would do that but i gotta figure out a way i could just set the camera up somewhere i'm tired of holding it i can't function then i have no room i should have built the booth a little bigger y'all but um there's always room for for uh making it you making it bigger so um yeah man it's time to go ahead and seal it i'm gonna seal it and then i'll cut y'all back on I'm trying to figure out whether or not let me adjust myself right quick mm, 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 mm. Ah, here we go. Ba, 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 ah. anyways I'm trying to figure out whether or not I'm gonna spray the door jams first under the hatch the hood the jams or if I should spray the car first uh, I always I do this every paint job I'll be trying to figure out what I'm gonna do first what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do but um, I just be going with it I just go with it so I think I'm gonna just spray the jams first of each color and then whenever it gets to the clear coat 
I'll spray the car first and then the door jams last with the clear coat. But I only do that with the clear coat. I normally just finish up the jams on whatever color I'm doing. So I'll do the four coats of silver in the jams and then do the four coats on the car. Do the four, four coats of the red in the jams and then the four coats of red on the car. And then I'll do four coats of clear on the outside of the car first. Then I'll do one heavy hard coat in the jams. I ain't gonna lie, look, hear me out for a second. Before I sprayed this, I told myself, I have to spray this like he wants the car to be silver. Y'all know, I hate spraying silver. I've sprayed, this is my third time spraying silver on a vehicle, and the first two times were trash. Them was some, I'm critiquing myself. Them was the worst, one of the top two of the worst paint jobs that I've done. It was a silver silver truck. I told him, <laughs> I literally told him, I said, hey, look, when I get better, <laughs> you can come back and I'll respray it. And I said the same thing with the cutlass. This was recent. I sprayed that cutlass here. And um, I told him as well, I, I was like, this this paint job is ass. This is just me critiquing myself. Um, and I know, and I'm pretty sure it was Tiger Stripes haziness. My point is, I, I I did it, man. I did it. Like, I I literally impressed myself. I, um, I outdid myself. I can I can say that I I literally outdid myself because I didn't. I wasn't expecting the silver to come out as well as it did. talk about irritated man i don't know what happened to the camera as i was spraying the first coat i think somebody might have called i think somebody i don't know man my the camera just shut off so that's irritating but yeah this is the first coat man we're gonna try and spray about four to five coats we just gonna use that whole gallon and a quart so we're gonna knock this out let's get it How we looking two coats um no sir not done i'm using all i think i got five quarts five quarts so a little over a gallon um still got to do the door jams i'm um, just focused on the outside first um and then i'll do this this is not the way that i normally 
paint the car. I'm, I'm still trying to, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to find out what's easiest for me. I know there's multiple ways of doing it, but I'm just going based off what's easiest for me. You can take the doors off. You can leave the doors on. You can uh, paint the door jams first, mask it all up, paint the rest of the car. You can paint the car and then uh, do multiple coats and then open the door jams, open everything up and then do the same amount of coats. So I'm on my second coat, might do five coats on the car and then five coats on the jam. So uh, just kind of just going based off on how I feel. Um, been here for a while now. Uh, yeah, since 12 a.m. yesterday. Yeah, so I mean, of course, I go home for a split second, grab something, eat, come back. But as far as sleeping, I ain't, I ain't really been, I ain't really been sleep. So making it happen, and old man, uh, he's gonna try and pick this bad boy up real soon. But damn, man, whoosh! Y'all tell me what you think on that second coat. Second coat, my first and second coat was really light, so you can see that cloudiness. I'm gonna go a little bit heavy on these third and fourth coats. So y'all stay tuned, man. How's she looking? camera set up right up there and uh yeah it just kept people kept calling i forgot to put it on do not disturb yeah let's take a look at it so uh this went super smooth uh one because i think i think it has hardly any metallic sorry guys i was just doing like a little test spray uh because i got kind of scared that it didn't match but um i was still trying to find my little comfort zone i was trying to figure out um how i wanted to spray it uh just kind of figure out my routine because i don't have a set way of spraying anything like i don't have a specific way to do it so i just kind of just tackled it the way i just kind of felt so the way i was feeling um i know you're supposed to do you're not supposed to do panel by panel when it comes to candy but i don't know i i, I don't know it just feels like i'm able to finesse um finesse some things uh now as far as tiger stripes i don't i don't see any tiger stripes at all the last cutlass that i, I mean the last old school that i did last candy paint job i did i seen a little bit of tiger stripes uh nothing too concerning though um on my behalf but overall uh second second candy paint job that i've done and i definitely definitely like this one for sure um just got to peel off this masking paper so we can uh go ahead and clear this bad boy. We're gonna clear it all in one one wop. So uh kinda hooked up my little paint gun a little too early. But tell me how she thinks she looking sharp already. Looking pretty damn sharp to me. Don't know about y'all, but candy apple red with some galaxy silver. Got a little dot right there. Ain't nothing we can't fix. Luckily, you, luckily I did. Well, not luckily, cause I knew um, I would do the silver first, then the red. If I would have did the red first, then the silver, uh, we would have had some issues, especially getting that silver on that candy. I'm gonna show y'all how how serious my mask game is. If 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 I don't know how to paint, damn it, I know how to mask. Damn it, I know how to mask all the way around. Um, you don't have a little minor stuff like that, that's fine. But sheesh, boy, cut your finger. Yeah, it was between, um, it was between the Hellcat and the blue and yellow BMW that I did. That was the top two, but this is this this uh, this right here is the number one. This is number one for me. This is one of my. This is my favorite. My favorite. Yeah, but now it's leaning towards that Camaro though. That great Camaro. 
this is leaning toward this. Yeah, this is top two. This is top two of my favorite projects. Very impressed with the way that it came out. Um, I drive it just like this. I throw one big silver stripe on here. It's so many ways you could go about this car. It's so many ways. It's so many things you could just do. Did I just cut this hand off in my pocket? All right. Ah, I'm not scared of the dark. Let's cut this heat on. It's 11,000 degrees. It's 85. Um, I ain't been on them but five minutes. Uh, so let's take a look. Got our jams done. Uh, even in there. So now I forgot we have to do the black. I completely forgot. I about to go grab the clear coat gun. Uh, so what we'll do. Oh, that's why I was in here. I was letting it kind of bake. Let that paint cure. Let me pull this a little bit closer. And then we'll go from there. So what we'll do, what we're doing now is just letting it bake so that when we apply our tape, I really don't even want to apply it too, too early. I might go take a break, let this sit for about 30 minutes and then uh, apply some tape around our edges. Like the same way we masked here, it's just as critical when it comes to masking these. Cause these are going black. This is going black. Oh, well, this is going black. That's going black. Uh, this is going black. This is going black. That's going black. So, what we'll do is we'll line our tape up first. We'll do our tape lines, masking. Luckily, it's just the outside. A tape line, tape line. And then we'll shoot it black. I mean, uh, we'll throw a plastic sheet of plastic over it. It's really as fast as we can. Without, luckily, I didn't clear it, so cool. Fast as we can. And then, uh, my bad. I'm so tired, y'all. I'm I'm mad sleepy. Like, I think it's like 12 in the morning. So I pretty much stayed here almost 48 hours, to be real. And uh, after I finish this car, I'm taking I'm taking like two days off. I'm chilling. I'm gonna have to hop off social media. I have to hop off. And I'm just trying to chill with my family. I miss my babies. I feel like an old head. I feel like a, I, yeah, I miss my kids now. I, I, I just started to, started to get back in my lazy But Anyway, my bad, y'all. I'm just being me. So yeah, man, we're gonna mask it up and then we're gonna get to, uh, we're gonna mask it up and then get to clearing it. Uh, go ahead and clear it. So, man, talk about the tedious part right here. Um, doing a black trim as y'all can see uh, I gotta do this side this is a lot it's a lot but uh, we gotta do this side's pretty much done gotta make sure okay I'm hitting this this is black I'm going back to close factor as I can um, I looked at how it was before same thing with the jams I did with the uh, mm, factory, I guess factory or previous painter did. Uh, just going back over like that. So, yeah. Other than that, man, we're gonna knock this out and then get to spraying some of this black on there.
so real quick, I'm going to just pretty much do a voiceover of what I was talking about. I was pretty much talking about just how uh, I hate that I didn't get the chance to fully record everything, all the process, the, the trim, the black trim, uh, the masking of the bottom half of the silver, and a few other things. Um, it's just, it's just kind of really hard to do that just because, one, I was tired. Two, I was so determined to make sure that he made it to the show, but unfortunately, he was not able to make it to the show, but... At the end of the day, this car came out immaculate. Only thing that it needs is a buff. That's it. Uh, my buffer is supposed to jump on it next week. I cannot wait to see the final results. But even with the results right now, man, I feel like, oh, my gosh. Like, I can't do nothing but give myself props and the most high, uh, the props that he deserves. So, um, definitely satisfied with it. Now, it's just pretty much time to put this car together. So, yeah, let's jump on it. Man, came a long way, but uh, it's time to it's time to go ahead and start uh, putting this bad boy together. So got the paint laid down. It's a few minor imperfections, um, which is to be expected, uh, just because I'm still learning. I still got a lot. I should have took these off. Clearly, this was holding the door, so I should have took those off. I got a little overspray to get off. No worries on that. Um, scrape that off. Uh, for the most part, my masking, I say 99. 0.9 percent perfect like like i didn't i don't have to touch up on anything i mean everything is like perfectly it almost looked like i damn near took it all the way apart um and everybody's everybody's different all painters is different everybody does things different ways um i like i like masking um now if it can come like if these can come off easy without tearing them up then yeah i'm, I'm taking them off like the headlights tail lights um in most cases the doors i would have took the doors off but you have to cut these factory um factory pins out and the tools that i had would just wouldn't wouldn't cut through it for some reason so um for the most part man I, i'm definitely satisfied with it uh like i said a little bit of a uh, little bit of overspray issue there ain't nothing we can we can't fix so a little bit of gray right there a little bit of red on the gray uh ain't nothing we can we can't fix so everything else is just a buffing 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 issue not an issue but <laughs> Uh, you just need to be buffed, of course, and that's it. Um, I think I want to go ahead and spray this as well. But, yeah, sheesh, we got to put this bad boy together. That's the only downfall about uh, painting cars is after you paint it, it's time to get back to work. Man, came a long way. But uh, it's, time to, it's time to go ahead and start uh, putting this bad boy together. So we got the paint laid down. There's a few minor imperfections, um, which is to be expected uh just because i'm still learning i still got a lot i should have took these off clearly this was holding the door so i should have took those off i got a little overspray to get off no worries on that um scrape that off uh for the most part my masking i say 99.9 percent .9 perfect like like i didn't i don't have to touch up on anything i mean everything is like perfectly it almost looked like i damn near took it all the way apart um and everybody's Everybody's different. All painters is different. Everybody does things different ways. 
Um, I like I like masking. Um, now, if it can come like if these can come off easy without tearing them up, then yeah, I'm I'm taking them off. Like the headlights, tail lights. Um, in most cases, the doors. I would have took the doors off, but you have to cut these factory um, factory pins out. And the tools that I had would just wouldn't wouldn't cut through it for some reason. So, um, for the most part, man, I, I'm definitely satisfied with it. Uh, like I said, a little bit of uh, a little bit of overspray issue. There ain't nothing we can we can't fix. So, a little bit of gray right there, a little bit of red on the gray. Uh, ain't nothing we can we can't fix. So everything else is just a buffing 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 issue. Not an issue, but. <laughs> Uh, you just need to be buffed, of course, and that's it. Um, I think I want to go ahead and spray this as well. But, yeah, sheesh, we got to put this bad boy together. That's the only downfall about uh, painting cars is after you paint it, it's time to get back to work. Uh, hard part's not over yet. Uh, he's got new, he got a lot of new stuff. He got new headlights, new fog lights, new rubber seals. Every time, I, that's, it's, rare, it's rare that I get those. Because, I mean, nine times out of ten, we have an old school, you can't, you can't save these all the time. So uh, he did a damn good job on getting that. So got that. Got some new headlight, uh, new bulbs, LEDs. Uh, don't laugh at my band-aid, man. This is the only band-aid. I, I cut myself pretty pretty good earlier today. So, um, but yeah, man, this is slowly and surely coming together. We going to put it all together. I don't want to show that process too long. And then <laughs> I think I could put it together. Y'all think I could do it? Come on, Bezo. You got it. You got it. And then we'll get this bad boy put together and detailed up. And then customers should be coming on his way pretty soon. So let's get it. Gotta paint them black, man. I know. Look, this thing is this is <laughs> this thing is nice. I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely. I think this. What y'all think? First place, maybe out of maybe out of the projects that I did. First place. This thing is sick. It it look good. It sound good. 